Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with Vade. And today we are reading Cat and Dog. It's written and illustrated by Michael Foreman. It's a story about an unlikely friendship. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let's jump right in. Cat and Dog. It was a wet and windy night. Cat found a dry place under the bridge and hugged her kittens to keep them warm. In the morning, Cat sniffed the air. Her nose twitched. Fish! I smell fish, she said. Stay here, my dears. I'll be back soon with breakfast. The kittens watched Cat follow the fishy smell up to the busy street. She stopped beside a park van, sniffed the air again, and then jumped in through the open door. Slam! Moments later, the door shut behind her. The engine started and the van drove off. Mom, come back, the kittens cried in alarm. But the van had disappeared in the traffic and the kittens were left all alone. They huddled together to keep warm and watched and waited for the van to return. As it grew dark, a scruffy old dog wandered under the bridge looking for somewhere dry to sleep. The dog saw the three kittens, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, he thought, licking his lips. Then he thought again, poor little things, they seem to be alone in the world, like me. The old dog curled up on some potato sacks and went to sleep. He had a lovely dream. He was be being stroked and tickled. He opened one eye. Oh, you're so warm, one of the kittens said. Can we warm ourselves next to you? The old dog sighed and wrapped his tail around them. Breakfast, the dog said when he woke them up in the morning. All day, the kittens watched the busy road, hoping that Mum would come back. The dog made sure no other dogs or foxes came near. Then at last, there was the van. The driver got out, carrying Cat. He put her gently on the ground. Cat raced towards the kittens. They rolled and cuddled and licked and kissed. Suddenly, Cat saw the dog. She arched her back, showed all her teeth and claws, and hissed at him. No, Mum, he is our friend, the kittens cried. He looked after us. The old dog backed away, sat down, and listened as Cat told them of her adventure. It was awful in the back of the van, cold and dark and bumpy, she said. We went all the way to the seaside. The man was so surprised to see me when he opened the door, but he was very kind and warmed me up and gave me a fish supper. But I couldn't eat it. I was too worried about all of you. Then he told me to eat up. I have to deliver some more fish to the city tomorrow and I will take you back with me, he said. Then Cat told them all about the seaside, the boats and waves and fresh air. It sounded wonderful. Dog and the kittens want to see it for themselves. So when the driver came back to his van, he found he had a few extra passengers. The sun was settling when they arrived at the seaside. The fishman made them at home in his net shed by the harbor. After supper, they all walked to the end of the pier by the light of the moon. There's a whole wonderful world out there, said Dog. Yes, and a sea full of fish, said Cat. The end. I hope you enjoy today's story. Until next time.